Welcome students. So I am back again by taking my part number 10 in the same chapter, chapter 1. Uh, that is the, some basic concepts of chemistry. So in the last video we have discussed about the laws of chemical combination and now here one more new topic that is Dalton's Atomic Theory. So it was also studied by us in class 9 and these are repeated form. So as you know George Dalton was the first scientist who just systematically approach towards the chemical combination of various elements. So in his theory, he decided he uh, discovered the very few postulates which were uh, the relatively uh, establish the relationship among the various elements for the combination and their formation of compounds. So here in 1808, John Dalton, an English chemist, proposed the atomic theory, the postulates of which were so, what were the postulates which were uh, uh, proposed by the John Dalton? The very first postulate is the matter consists of individual particles. So, according to him, he said that what all the matter consists of the individual smaller particles called as atoms. Means the element consists of the individual particles called as what the atoms. And the second postulate of the atomic theory is atoms of the same element are identical if we are taking the different different atoms of the same element so he said that that all the elements having the same atoms which are identical in the aspect like size shape mass and chemical properties means the size shape mass and other chemical properties or physical properties are same if we are talking about the different different atoms of the same element right the third point is atoms of different elements have the different masses size and the chemical properties right means what if we are taking the two atoms of two different different elements so both are having the different size different mass different color texture and different different chemical property this is the third postulate now fourth one is the compounds are formed when atoms of different elements combine in the fixed ratio. He said that what? Whenever the atoms of different different elements combine in a definite proportion or a fixed ratio, then only we get the different different compounds. For example, if we are getting as what? Ammonia, that is NH3. So here we, we have the one atom of nitrogen and three atoms of hydrogen are combined in the ratio of one ratio three, then only we are getting the ammonia. This is what? The portion number four. Now, next one is what the chemical reactions involve reorganization of atoms. Means, according to him, whenever a chemical reaction is proceeded, it includes the recombination of various atoms to form the new compounds. For example, if we are talking about the combination of hydrogen and oxygen, and we get as what the water, then only these two atoms, that is hydrogen atom and oxygen atoms are reorganized in such a way that we are getting a new compound that is what this is what the postulate number five and the last postulate of the Dalton scientific theory is an atom can neither be created nor be destroyed and cannot be interconverted means the atom which is what the individual particle the smallest particle of any matter can neither be created nor be destroyed that we have also studied in the law of conservation of mass and that it cannot be interconverted means the atom itself cannot be converted to another form but it is combined with another at uh, atom to form the new compounds this is what the sixth postulate of the Dalton's atomic theory but today in modern era there is some modification in the Dalton's atomic theory so some modification are given as very first we just said it what that the atom is no longer considered to be an individual means as the discoveries proceed we say that the atom is not the smallest particle because atom consisting of some individual particles called as what the electron proton and neutron so discovery of these three subatomic particles like electron proton and neutron just prove the postulate uh, of Dalton's theory wrong so this is what the new modification in Dalton's atomic theory the next modification is according to Dalton's he said that what that all the atoms of the same element have the same physical and chemical properties but here the atoms of the same element may have different atomic masses means if we are talking about the same element 
of different different uh, uh, same element taking two elements uh, in one element with two different different atoms for example the chlorine we have two atoms of chlorine but one belongs to chlorine 17 and mass number 35 and second belongs to chlorine 17 atomic number and third term mass number so in this case the masses of these two elements belong to same element that is the chlorine has the two different masses which prove the again the doctor's atomic theory postulate wrong so this is a new modification that atom of the same element does not possible that or it is it may or may not be same masses next is what the atoms of different elements may have the same atomic masses so in this case uh, we are talking about this in case of this one this shows that what the calcium and argon so in these two cases these are the two different elements but having the same mass number means the different elements have the same atomic masses it may be possible and the same element may be have different masses it may be possible so these three postulates are the modification in the Dalton's atomic theory so this was the way uh, all the postulates and the modification according to modern theory this was the Dalton's atomic theory so hopefully you will like it share it and subscribe my channel thank you